Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. We greet you in the blessed month of Rajab. Uh, with assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And with the dua which is masnoon. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa shaban wa balikna ramadan. And we want to explain. <laughs> because there are some who are not aware. How do we prepare for Ramadan? Answer. We are now in the month of Rajab. And from the time Rajab begins, you have to prepare for Ramadan. That is why we make this dua. Allahumma barik lana fi Rajabin wa Shaban wa barikna Ramadan. O Allah, kindly grant us blessings in this month of Rajab. And in the month of Shaban, which is to follow, and grant that we may live to reach Ramadan. So from the time Rajab comes, you're preparing for Ramadan. How do we continue to prepare for Ramadan? Answer. The month with Allah, the system of sacred time, which has come from Allah. Sacred time is time which has come as created by Allah, different from secular time which has come from Dajjal, which has come from Dajjal. So sacred time which has come from Allah is that in which a month commences when you see the new moon. Where do you look in the sky and when do you look in the sky for the new moon? The new moon is called the crescent moon. Answer. It is when the sun has already set, just after the sun has set. Then there where the sun has set, that is where you look in the sky, in the sunset. And you look in the sky to see if there are no clouds, then a clear, clear sky. You look to see if there is any sign of a new moon. If the sky is clear and one person has seen it, that's enough. But if the sky is cloudy, if the sky is cloudy, then there must be more than one people to have confirmed that they have seen the moon. When the moon is seen, then the month has begun. When the moon has, is seen, then the month has begun. And when the moon is full, it's a full moon, then you know that half the month is gone. And when the moon disappears and a new moon is seen in the sky, that means that one month has ended and a new month has begun. The day begins when the sun has ended, set has, the sun has set. A day in Islam is comprised of the period of night, a layl, and the period of daylight, a nahar. And a day is comprised from sunset to sunset. Shall I repeat that? From sunset to sunset. So the month of Shaban will commence after the sun has set on the last day of Rajab. Our Prophet, Allah's blessing be upon him, counted the days of Shaban more with greater care than any other month, because this is the way we prepare for Ramadan. The last thing we need to, do, to know is the month is comprised of 30 days. However, when the 29th day has come to an end, this is Allah's wisdom. Although we now have people who believe they are more wiser than Allah himself, yes. <laughs> when the 29th day has come to an end, then we look for the moon. And if the moon is seen, at the end of the 29th day, then the month would have ended. 
and the new month would have begun. But if the moon is not seen at the end of the 29th day, then the month will automatically have one more day, and then it would end. And so in order for us to prepare for Ramadan, I am making this video to tell you that when Rajab has come to an end, be careful, be careful, be careful to view, look for the new moon. And then when you see the new moon or when the month of Rajab has ended at the end of the 30th day, you must count the days of Shaban with great care. That is the Sunnah of our Prophet. So that Allah's blessing be upon us in blessed Ramadan. We will be able to count the month of Shaban until then and be able to look for the moon of Ramadan. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.